Also, well, you know what? While we're working on our speech, <laughs> while we're working on our speech, my dear brothers, you guys are all aware, and none of you are so foolish as to follow the example of the crass, the careless, the, the trendy guys who thought it would be really cool to throw in profanity and get, get you know, street level. I guess that's what they were trying to do. Now, we're not that stupid, right? Of course not. But there is one particular four-letter word. It starts with an F. And it needs to go. It's the word feel. <laughs> get it out of your, your get it out of your vocabulary. I am talking to men of God who keep going, well, I feel I feel like the Lord's doing a thing. I feel a I feel like it. <laughs> they go, like, what are you doing right now? Well, we were doing this, and now we, we feel like the Lord's calling. We feel you feel you don't feel. The just shall live by faith alone. I, I, I just did a red eye last night coming back from Oregon, and we had a great time. The Lord was with us there, and I went on this rant with the, the brothers there. Because I say everywhere, everywhere I turn, I'm, I'm counting them. I'm that way. I'm counting. Whoa, well, you just did three. I feel. Stop it. And, and then I, I go on this ride, and I'm on my way out of there. I got to fly out of Portlandia and stop on the way to the airport at a Panera Bread. And I'm standing there looking at the menu. I don't know what it, I can't, I'm looking at a sandwich and it's a steak and arugula, but I can't remember what arugula is. <laughs> I know that's stupid, but anyway, so I turned to a young woman. In line, and I said, excuse me, do you, what's arugula? Her opening words, I feel like you either like it or you don't. I feel like. <laughs> and and there's, it's crept into the church, brothers. There, there, this, this, is, this is the weirdest phenomenon, and I remember noticing it when it entered culture. And it was about a decade and a half ago, and all of a sudden that age group they were college age, couldn't ever say, I know, I think. They never could make a statement without I feel in front of it because that has supreme authority. You can't argue with that. It's what they feel. It's their reality. I mean, it's like everything, it, constantly. I feel, like, I, I, feel, I feel like you're mocking me. No, I'm not. It's not a feeling. I am mocking you. <laughs> I feel like even, even the things that aren't feelings, you're like, hey, anybody... Any of you, you people, anybody see my keys? I feel like they're in the kitchen. <laughs> it's not a feeling. Stop it. That's a thought. You have facts. You got something. Give me something more than your feelings. Looking for the keys. So correct it in yourself, then correct it in the rest of the world around you. But don't be, don't be, don't be talking about, think about it for just a second. The, 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 the apostles of our Lord. Did any of them ever write the word feel once in any of their epistles? Can you imagine the apostle, Paul. Timothy, I feel like you need to stay in Ephesus. <laughs> and then you get, you get that, uh, that, that silly synthetic Christian pop hit from Toby Mac. I feel him in my heart. I feel him in my soul. That's how I know. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and you go, did you, you, did you get that at Liberty University? You, you feel him. That's how you know? We need to confront that one head on. But to the text, brother. Besides that, on top of all of that, we're men. We have feelings, but they're small. They're not worth talking about. <laughs>